are looking amazing. Let me, let me see. Okay. I'm 28 hours. No. 48 hours without sleep. Just for you to know. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Fire. Fire. It was... That moment was so funny. You know why? Because I didn't expect that. Who's asking you what yeah, 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 fuego means? And I was like, what did he do? He mean? like, what, what? And I was like, yeah, yeah, fire. fire. <laughs> Devon Adoravi, we we com. I am here with Elaine Fuera in the head office of Panic Records in Athens, in <laughs> Greece, in your home city. Oh my God, I'm so happy you're here. Oh I'm so happy. Okay, the weather is not so good now in Greece. It's too cold for us. But you're on fire. Always. But always. It's a fire here in this area. <laughs> no, I'm joking. And I love how you have, you literally live in the skies. Last night you were in Spain. Was that yes. <laughs> Al- Alberto Botia? Was that? <laughs> no, it, I sing in a... <laughs> oh my God, he's taking a different direction <laughs> like this. He like a snake. <laughs> no, I had a concert in Coruña. Okay. I had a concert in, Con- concert in Coruña. I'm, I'm without, I'm sleepless. I have a lot of makeup. No, I don't have makeup. No, you don't have a lot of makeup. And I have an amazing concert there. It was amazing. Are those eyelashes yours? Yes. Really? They are big. Oh, girl. I think I have so small eyelashes, guys. It's mine. I have no eyelashes right now. I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of me. (laughs) (laughs) So, yeah, I had an amazing, amazing concert there. The people... Oh, my... I love Spain. I know. I'm in Spain love loves with you. this country. This country needs to organize uh, to do Eurovision next year or uh, some year of these years because, guys, this country is beautiful and amazing. And the crowd there, one of the best crowd I ever seen oh, in yeah, Spain. Yeah. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, the crowd is amazing. And your song is always on the radio in Spain because I, I heard still. it. I was in Spain as well two days Fuego, ago. It's still, <laughs> after nine months, ten in a little bit, it's still in top ten. That's the crazy. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable because, okay, after Eurovision, I was expecting uh, Fuego to go well, but it goes so good. And after 10 months, almost, it's still in top 10. And I don't believe it because I have a new record now. And I'm like, okay, we need Which to... Which is it. on play in Greece nonstop. I've heard no. it three times Yeah, already. yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's good. And in Spain, we start now... In Spain too. It was crazy because I say yesterday in the concert, so I want to sing for you my new single, Toma Man. They was like, Toma Man. I was like, Do you you already know it? I was so happy. They already knew it. And it's crazy. And you've been an established star. I mean, like number one in in the pop charts for like almost ten years in Greece. So you have lots and lots of hits. You've had like ten number ones. Thank you. Is so much. Fuego your most which song have you performed the most? Oh my God. My first songs. Because think about this nine years actually. Yes, exactly. Uh, singing the first, my first song all the time. So yeah, but Fuego is true. I sing, I'm singing it a lot. Now I'm going out and everything is like robot. Ta, 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 the choreography and everything. But <laughs> always when I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to do the same. Always have something and... It's like a fire. Oh, Fuego, yeah. It's like a fire inside me. Every time, I, I, it's like the first time for me. I don't know why it's happening. And it's going to be always like that. Because Fuego, it's one of my biggest songs. And Fuego, for me, was the beginning. It, like, it was like the beginning. The new my, beginning. The new beginning of my career. It's true. And always, I'm think, I think after 10 years, every time I will sing Fuego, it's gonna, I'm going to feel the same. Like but there's always the something time. changing as well. It's never or always the same. I remember in, when I saw you in London, there was that, you know, you got me pelican, the intro. And yes, then you yes, come on yes, stage, yes, yes. you were blonde then. You're not blonde now. <laughs> now. And who knows in four months? <laughs> you could be red. <laughs> you never know with me. I usually I always change my hair, always. I, I really, I get bored and I always, I like doing changes in my hair. This poor hair. But, uh, yeah, always I, li- I like to do small changes. I did in Los Cuarenta Music Awards. I put that dance part there. 
and uh, now I'm gonna sing in Operación Triunfo, the final of Eurovision in Spain. Have you Spain. heard the songs, by the way? No, I didn't. I don't okay. want to lie, I didn't, because I'm running. But I will be there two days before I'm gonna hear everything, and I will tell you what's my favorite one. I want you to put your judge's hat on. You know, like when you were judging, so you think you can dance? You need to now go. Like... I'm gonna perform. There. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna choose. <laughs> no, no, listen, when I'm thinking about competition, I'm like, <gasps> Oh, God. It was so hard. You know, it, when you are an artist, it's so hard to compete, to, to be in competition. It's not right for us. You understand what I'm saying? Because they all deserve the best. They all deserve to win. All of them. Because you're an artist, you just want to sing and perform. But when it's a competition, like, sometimes I'm seeing my video from Eurovision, the, final, the grand final mm. or the semi-final, and I'm like, oh, it wasn't so good. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know how it much... It was good. No, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good, but you know, understand why? Because I know how stressful it is. I was ready to die in that moment. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> you didn't show it. Because I'm a professional, huh? I know. That if I, if I show it, it will be wrong. <laughs> but uh, it's hard to come at it. It's hard. It's very hard. I don't want to do it. You never what did know. You do? When, when you were in, at Eurovision last year, did you listen to some of the other songs? Did you say, okay, let me check out the competition. Let me, of let course, me. Every, every, every song was going out. I was like, let me hear this one. It is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was obsessed. And I bet you I don't had many lie. favorites. Like, many favorites. Yes. <laughs> Mikolas was one of my favorite songs. Oh, yeah. He got uh, the best result for Czech. Albania was one of my best songs. And when I hear him singing live, I was like... <gasps> He was amazing. Uh, I had I had favorite songs. It's true, but it's interesting I was the ones obsession. you picked because uh, Nicholas Joseph was the best result Czech had ever had. Of course, you were the best result Cyprus has ever got. <laughs> but he was so good. Yeah. You know, some things sometimes you cannot lie. That it's the truth. You can see it. It's obviously it's so obvious that he was good. He was singing good. He was dancing, and he had that comfort. He was so I got this. And sometimes that matters sometimes, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? How good you feel. And I've got to congratulate you as well, because there's something called ESC Top 50, which is the best song of Eurovision Song Contest it's ever. Great. Right? So they do like 250 best songs over 63, 64 years of Eurovision. And you actually came second. It was the highest it's new It's my entry. lucky number. I told you. <laughs> Listen, that was crazy. And that was amazing because I didn't have to compete uh, to be with 43 more songs. No, no, you I were with to be... thousands and, and thousands. And when I realized that, the 1st of January, it was the first day of the new year that I see it. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to post this. This is huge. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Huge. And for me, it was unbelievable. So somebody say, oh, second again. But I was like, are you crazy? This is huge. And I don't know what to say. I don't know, I don't know what to say. Because when first is Euphoria, and that song is one of my favorite songs ever in Eurovision Song Contest. And I came second, and I realized all the other songs that I know from Eurovision, like Set Up, Elena Paparizou, uh, all these songs and I was like oh my god they choose me second it's huge I won't really I, I died that day I was like this is how 2019 start thank you so so much uh, really really it was unbelievable and it's, it's amazing I don't know what to say every time I'm saying thank you and I think it's not enough but I'm working a lot I'm trying to make all my fans happy and uh, I think I'm making them so, are we to expect a new album from you? Uh, you have to expect a new EP. It's coming very soon in Spotify with three new songs. Oh, and... by the way, I got this platinum edition mm -hmm. thing from Panic You got Record. a present, huh? Yes, honey. This is my last uh, album. And now it's a platinum edition because it's Fuego Inside, it's Caramela, the new... Oh, new... yeah. And, of course, uh, it's double platinum. That's why we make this... Artwork. I love the artwork. Thank you I so mean, much. It's, it's got me pelican fly fly. fly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's coming a new EP in March. Yes. And uh, a huge collaboration and uh, another one collaboration. And it's. Oh, I, 
I Who can, are you I collaborating with? You will see very oh, soon. Secret. You will see very soon. I'm very happy about, about what is coming. It's so good and it's so strong. And uh, I work so hard for all this, you know. And when it comes some point and some moment in your life and things happening, so nice things, you are like, thank God. Thank you, God. Thank you because I work so much. I know. How do you keep it all up? You're flying everywhere. It's a fuego. You have a Spanish lover, <laughs> so you have to spend it's some a fuego. time. It's a fuego inside here. It's a fuego. Everybody have fuego inside, you know. We have, all have a fire inside us. It, you just need to be focused and be there. And the fuego is burning, so keep burning. I know. I can feel the keep heat, burning. girl. <laughs> I can feel it. Do you have a message for your fans on We We Blogs? Uh, I want to I wanna really, really... To th- Thank you, guys. I want to thank Willy Blog, not only the fans. And I want to say thank you for the bottom of my heart because it was unbelievable, unbelievable what happened with Eurovision and Fuego. And what is happening still, after one year almost, Eurovision finished, you know? And they still support me so, so much. And thank you. I always, I'm going to try to be the best. I can be for you guys and uh, never disappoint you. I, I don't know what to say. And like, I have one personal... It's so beautiful. I have one personal request. The fashion designer, because I think you also design stuff, that designed your boots, needs to make it available for general sale mm-hmm. because I'm ready to buy a pair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the lady, the red one's it so is good. so wonderful so to good. see you again. Thank you for this invitation. And oh my God, be- thank you so much. I'm so happy you're here. I'm going to take you out. For sure. <laughs> Sister, we got to rock Athens one more time. And it's so nice. <laughs> we'll Thank you for you everything. Later. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.